We're in Slovenia! My name is Alfredo and this is Off the Strip where I introduce you to places just minutes off the Las Vegas Strip or take you on one of my many, many adventures. If this is your first time to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. More information is listed below. We're in Slovenia, Slovenia, oh no. Welcome to my Slovenia series. In this series of videos, we are exploring the beautiful city of Ljubljana, visiting the historic Ljubljana castle, marveling at the iconic Dragon Bridge, indulging in some delicious local cuisine, and tasting the unique flavor of Slovenian orange wine. We'll also venture beyond the city to the breathtaking Lake Bled, uncover the wonders of a 700-year-old cave, and visit a spectacular castle perched on the side of a mountain. Join me for an unforgettable journey through some of Slovenia's most captivating sites. So it is our first full day in Ljubljana. We literally just came from the airport, checked into the hotel. Thank God they let us check in early. It's just about noon right now and we're walking towards the center of town. Our hotel is literally steps away from city center. Great hotel. Um, so yeah, this is Slovenia, Ljubljana. Okay, so this is the pink church. This is where we're meeting our tour guide uh, later on this afternoon. There's a lot of tours going on right now, but this is where we're going to meet. But this is the town center of Ljubljana. It's pretty, it's pretty awesome. Um, what a great place. I mean, this was never on my bucket list to visit, but, but yeah, it's, I'm glad that it's now part of my journey. So we've just crossed what we're calling, or what not what we're calling, but we've just crossed what they called Triple Bridge. It connects Old Town into New Town. The river's just right there. Oh man, what a great magical place. So here we are in Ljubljana having our first traditional meal. Can't wait to try everything, but for now, cheers everyone! Well, unfortunately, when I recorded this part of the video, my microphone was on mute. But let me tell you, this mushroom soup and this bread bowl was perfect. The flavors were so deep. The mushroom flavor was like beyond. It was so rich that it almost tastes like beef stew actually. But man, you gotta have this when you're in Ljubljana. So we decided to share the meat platter, which has <clears throat> three different types of meat, had a really nice mustard, there's a tomato puree, and some really good mashed potatoes. We really, it was, it was a really good mixture. We enjoyed it. It was enough to split, which is always convenient. So to celebrate our first meal here in Slovenia, I got two things, the mushroom soup and also the, um, the dumplings. Uh, the mushroom soups are actually, they're probably their most popular and just looking at the people, what people order. So I like this one. This one could use a little bit more um, salt, but it's still good to, to eat. And then I also got the spritz that they have. It's kind of like their own spritz and I like it. Make a quick favor, hit that like button and leave a comment. Tell me, would you visit Ljubljana? Okay, so this square right here is where the um, food food fest or food festival will be at tomorrow that we'll check out. But tonight, they're gonna show the Slovenia versus a Serbia football game or at home soccer. Soccer in Slovenia is a very popular sport. Their national team is a top tier league that have qualified for major tournaments such as the FIFA World Cup. So again, they're getting ready for this big soccer game and we're just walking, kind of meandering. And what did we run into? the love bridge over here behind me and the farmer's market.
The Butcher's Bridge in Ljubljana features a striking sculpture of Adam and Eve by a renowned Slovenian artist. Known as the Love Bridge, it is also adorned with hundreds of padlocks left behind by couples as a symbol of their eternal love, offering picturesque views of the Ljubljana River and the vibrant surroundings of the Central Market. Honestly, we've only been in Ljubljana for a few hours and already it's one of my favorite cities, honestly. Ljubljana is the capital of Slovenia. It's known for its charming medieval town, vibrant cultural scene, and picturesque riverfront dining. It is making it the hub of historical and architectural significance. So walking through these little streets of Slovenia, uh, Ljubljana again, um, looks like we found our little, their little version of Antico, the sandwich shop in Florence. There's a line at the door, people eating sandwiches. And I walked by one of them and the sandwiches look really good. So we're gonna come back later since we just had lunch. We'll probably have lunch here tomorrow or something. Okay, in every country I visit, I go to a McDonald's just to see what's different. So let's go inside and check it out. Look, they have veggie options. Like, look at all these veggie options. They have um, all these different things. Desserts. What are all these? Holy cow. I guess the, this is their Big Mac. Look, they have chicken wings here. Wow. was our walking tour group but honestly after traveling all night and walking around all morning we kind of purposely fell behind and left the tour to go take a nap this is a profile so that i don't encourage this behavior after a much needed nap it was time to explore again and find some dinner but unfortunately we lost a couple of our peeps because they were too tired to continue on Right now we're just looking for dinner and there's a lot going on right now. Um, wow, Ljubljana, A+. Plus. Gelato, what a way to end the evening. For me, right, right, body for me, what, what, work, work, get, get down, get down, get down, get, get, get down, get down, get down, get down. Honestly, there's so many options, I don't even know what to eat. 